Nestle USA getting into the meal delivery business, buying prepared meal company Freshly for up to $1.5 billion. Joining us now in a first on CNBC interview on the deal, Nestle USA CEO Steve Presley. Steve, why is now the time to be getting into the fresh meals delivery business? Well, first, thanks for having me. And, and for us, really, the the time to get in was almost two years ago when we made a first minority interest uh, investment in the company. And we think as consumers continue to evolve in how and where they shop and how they meet their food choices, we think Freshly was a really interesting company that was a food tech startup with really fast and innovative and, and a great fit for us as we as we invested a couple of years ago and started to learn over the last two years more and more and admire more and more about the company and the acceleration of e-commerce through the pandemic certainly triggered uh, the, the desire to complete the deal now. I, I guess, Steve, there's so many companies like this out there now. Um, we've got a, a, a graphic here, in fact, of, of some of them. Um, do, do you think there needs to be consolidation? Do you think some of them will go bankrupt in the years ahead if they don't have backing from a big company like you? For us, I think Freshly is clearly the leader in this prepared meal space and we think was the right target for Nestle. And, and for us, this will be a high growth segment. I think if you look at the most of the research, it'll be a $15 billion category. So I think there's plenty of room for people in there. We think we've got the best brand in the space with Freshly and we think there's tremendous runway of growth for us to drive this business forward. And then, uh, and then hopefully we end up expanding that leadership position. It is a question, though, about the sort of viability of these businesses. We saw what happened to Blue Apron once it went public. How do you, how do you tell which ones are going to come out on top and which ones won't? And is this a profitable model? I think Freshly is a bit of a unique business versus some of the other ones where it's not a meal kit. It's actually a prepared meal delivered to your house that offers real healthy convenience uh, prepared meals. And so... This model can be a very profitable model and, and, and not only profitable, also a high growth model. So I think each one of those businesses have very different and distinct issues, uh, but we feel good about the long term projectability of this business. Do you feel like, Steve, we could be at a sort of peak eat at home moment because of COVID and that give it 12 months, people will be going out again? No, so, I mean, look, clearly the pandemic has had an, uh, an impact to the way the amount of eating at home. But the reality, when you look at it, I don't think it'll recover in 12 months. I think, you know, as consumers have eaten more and more and moved to more and more of the brands across all of our portfolio, not just freshly, I think we've re-engaged new households. We've actually brought in new families and the families that were already in our brands, we've been able to increase their frequency as they've consumed more at home. And I think we really spent the last two or three years driving investment, buying product quality, driving investments and making our products a better value for our consumers. And in doing that, I think we'll hold a lot of those households. And I think this trend will stick. It's not going to turn around uh, in the six months or even immediately when there's a vaccine or better therapeutics available. I think we're in a, a period where we'll see this growth uh, stay for a sustained period of time. And specifically for this one, I think the acceleration of e-commerce was there pre-COVID. It's certainly accelerated in COVID, but that trend will continue. Wanted to ask you about COVID, Steve, as, as the world's largest food producer and what you're seeing here in the U.S. as these cases climb, hospitalizations climb. Are, are we in for another second wave of a stock up in terms of grocery? Is that already happening? And are we going to have food on the shelves this time fully? Yeah, I mean, I, I won't comment whether it's the second wave, but clearly we all see the cases going up dramatically across the country. And for us, the demand in the market has stayed for most of the pandemic. And so you've had, if you look at any of the syndicated data, you know, you've had strong consumption data across the categories for the entire pandemic. And so I think that'll continue. We don't see massive um, uh, acceleration as the cases have gone up, maybe a few categories here or there, but they're actually seasonal categories where you see it normally anyway. So I think what we see is the sustained demand that has happened throughout pandemic has kind of stayed consistent through this, this ramp up of the cases. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.